The idea of creating a course from scratch can feel extremely overwhelming, especially if you don't have any formal history in teaching or helping people to learn information. But today I wanna to share two hacks that you can incorporate that will help you start creating your course today and not be overwhelmed with the process. The first hack is to take material that you already have. So maybe you've written a dissertation, maybe you have a couple blog posts, maybe you have a couple poems, you know, stacked somewhere away. Maybe you have a book that you've written or eBooks that you've published. Don't try to recreate the wheel. If you already have some content, what you can do is take the content you have and determine ways that you can maybe beef it up or bulk it up and deliver it to your audience. What you don't want to do is take a bunch of free content you have and piece it together and give it to your audience because then they could find that for free and you probably really shouldn't be charging it for th to them. But what you want to do is you want to take what you have and figure out how you can build upon different parts of that process. That'll likely take a lot of the idea of I need to create 99 modules, but if you start to see what you have, it'll give you some sense of direction of things that you can focus on or things that you can build upon without actually starting from ground zero. You'd be surprised how much content you have based on reading material, based on research, based on questions people ask you. Sometimes I've even had clients of mine find things in old text messages of long directions that they've given. Recently, I had a client of mine who was creating a course on recipes and how to become creative in the kitchen. And she had a recipe that she had texted her friend years ago that she wanted to use as like a bonus recipe that people were asking about, a special taco salad recipe. And so you'd be surprised where you'd find content, but if you're creative and you think about places that you've either read it, researched it, or shared with other people, think about how you can compile that and start from there instead of starting from ground zero. The second hack to course creation without the overwhelm is that you only have to create 20% of the course content before you sell it. You didn't hear that from me, but here's what I'm gonna tell you. The truth is when people purchase your course, they just want to dive in. So in reality, you can create the first one or two modules, give them something to get started with, and you can continue to build upon the course as they are progressing through the course. Now, some people don't like this concept because they're like, well, I don't like the idea of not having anything ready for my audience. And that's why you just create some things to get them started. But here's the good news about using this tactic. If you create one to two modules, you have enough time to get feedback from your audience about where you'd like to go moving forward. So for example, if your audience tells you, I really love that you gave us so many actionable steps in module two, now you know that you probably wanna incorporate actionable steps throughout your module. If your audience member tells you that your microphone sucks and it sounds really staticky, now you know that you can go back and fix your microphone before you record every single module and that sounds like that. So the greatest part about that is that you also aren't overwhelmed. You spend your time creating two modules in a really detailed outline, and then you can dedicate your time to showing up and launching effectively for your audience. And then in turn, later, after you start to bring in the income, after you start to bring in the learners, you can start to committing to building up your course. With this, you gotta be careful. You never wanna sell a course that you don't have intentions to build out. So also be careful with that. Today, I just wanted to share those two brief hacks because I know how overwhelming it can be to think that you gotta start all the way from point A to get to point Z, and you're like, I just don't have enough time, I just don't even know where to begin. And so I wanted to take the pressure off of you by sharing these two tips. Definitely try incorporating those in your course creation process and watch how the overwhelm will slowly but surely reduce. If you're ready to create your course, you're ready to get it out into the world, you're ready to package your genius, your expertise, and your passion and deliver it to people that you know need to hear from you, then your time is now. I know that you're probably thinking, where do I begin? What is a module? How do I sell it? What is launching? Where do I even start? The great news is you're in the right place. As a course creating queen that has written over nine courses of my own and launched each of those and helped hundreds of women do the same, I'd love an opportunity to be able to help you as well. Use the link below to sign up for a totally free strategy call where we can talk about your idea and how to make it happen. Use the link below and I'd love to talk to you very soon.